children welcome to our lively session in our biology class children we learned that in previous class about the blood vessels arteries veins and the capillaries today we will discuss about the structure and the function of the heart so children first we will discuss about the structure of the heart before that we will discuss that where the heart is present so the heart is located in the thoracic cavity so what is the thoracic cavity when we see that the body cavity our body cavity the body cavity is divided into two cavities by a muscular membrane that is calling as diaphragm so the diaphragm divides the body cavity into two cavities that is the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity so we learned that so the heart is located in the thoracic cavity in between the lungs in between the lungs okay children and how it is protecting it is protecting by the rib cage it is protecting by the rib cage and also the heart is covered by a pericardial membranes pericardial membranes two pericardial membranes are there that is called as pericardium so in between the pericardial membranes there is a pericardial fluid is also present so with the help of pericardial fluid pericardial membranes and the rib cage the heart is protecting so do you know uh, how much the size of the heart yes you are all well know that that the size of our fish that is the size of our fish okay and what is the color of the heart that is the dark red in color dark red in color and what is its shape it is like that pear shape Uh, like the triangle pear shape we are saying this one so upper upper end of the upper part of the heart when you are seeing that it is having the broader end and the lower portion that is in narrow and when we are seeing this one the narrow portion of the heart is towards the left side towards the left side so we are saying that the heart is in our left side okay but the heart is located in between the lungs and slightly towards to the left side because the heart's narrow the heart's narrow end towards the left side okay children so i think that up to here you understood so now we will see the the internal structure of the heart so children once see this heart structure so here when we see this one the heart the heart is divided into four chambers how many chambers children four chambers the upper two chambers are calling as auricles the upper two chambers are calling as auricles the down two chambers are calling as ventricles the down two chambers are calling as ventricles see children this right auricle and left auricle right auricle left auricle right ventricle left ventricle right ventricle left ventricle so observe this one these two auricles are separated by a septum okay so when we think here our heart is here like a house the house is having that four rooms like the the heart have four chambers i told you so here the rooms four rooms are there so the right upper chambers auricles the two auricles are separated by a septum that is calling as interauricular septum that is calling as interauricular septum like the the two ventricles are so also separated by a septum that is calling as interventricular septum interventricular septum so there is no connection between right auricle to left auricle right ventricle to left ventricle so observe here from the right auricle to right ventricle there is also a septum that is calling as interauricular ventricular septum inter auricular ventricular septum so here also from the left auricle to left ventricle there is a septum is there that is also calling as interauricular ventricular septum so but here you will observe that here there is a passage is there from the auricle to ventricle right auricle to right ventricle left auricle to left ventricle so here the passage is guarded by valves so already we discussed the valves in the veins so the valves allows the blood movement in only one direction it will not allows that into the backward direction so the blood will pass moves from right auricle to right ventricle 
left auricle to left ventricle only so there is no connection between right to left right to left so children i think that up to here you understood so here i told that the right auricle and the right ventricle this is guarded by a wall that is calling as tricuspid wall that wall with name is tricuspid wall okay tri tricuspid wall and here the left auricle and left ventricle also guarded by a wall that is calling as bicuspid wall bicuspid wall it is also calling as mitral wall so you have your doubt madam how can we remember this one so no problem children so right that is the odd numbers r i g h t so five letters odd number so here tri t r i so it is also odd number so right is having the tricuspid wall left l e f t four letters by b i by two letters so even numbers so here the right having the tricuspid wall left having the bicuspid wall children i think that you understood this one okay children now we will see this here from the when we see here a right auricle okay it is getting it is having the connection with two blood vessels it is having the connection with two blood vessels they are see here superior vena cava and the here inferior vena cava so it is the superior vena cava it is the inferior vena cava so from the down parts the inferior vena cava brings the blood into the right auricle okay children and the from uh, upper parts the superior vena cava brings the blood to the right auricle okay children so here see here from so right auricle is connected with two blood vessels they are superior vena cava and inferior vena cava so what about the right ventricle it is also connected to a blood vessel that is pulmonary artery guarded by pulmonary valve so already we know that the pulmonary artery takes the deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs so here the right side the veins brings the deoxygenated blood to the right side body of the heart okay so from the the pulmonary artery takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs so the right side is connected with three vessels three blood vessels okay superior vena cava inferior vena cava and also pulmonary artery so what we happened in the left side also we will observe so when we see this left side it is also the left auricle is connected with a blood vessel that is calling as pulmonary veins that is calling as pulmonary veins so from this long and from this long okay now so pulmonary vein is collected to here and what about the left ventricle from the left ventricle also one blood vessel is a, is coming here so are you observe this one so here also from the left ventricle there is a blood vessel is attached that is aorta which is guarded by a systematic valve this is the largest artery in the body so it takes the oxygenated blood so children this is about the structure of the heart internal structure of the heart so along with this one so already we discussed about the blood vessels so right side we observe that superior vena cava inferior vena cava and the pulmonary artery and when we see here the left side pulmonary vein and aorta okay children so along with this one we will observe the in the heart we will find that coronary artery and the coronary vein so what is this coronary artery what is this coronary vein so ch see children the heart is like a bag like structure it is a muscular organ it is a bag like structure so only it is getting the blood it is giving the passes to the movement of the blood okay children so to work to work the heart so heart also wants to work so the cells wants the energy the cells of the heart also requires energy so it also required oxygenated blood okay children so to give the oxygenated blood to the cells of the wall okay to the cells of the heart wall the coronary artery gives that blood so again i'm saying that the coronary artery supplies the oxygenated blood to the walls of the heart and also from the walls of the heart deoxygenated blood is collected by the coronary veins so these are also connected to the veins and the artery and they are also entering into the heart chambers i think you understood children and when any disturbance occurs any fat material deposits what it may be any struck if any struck occurs in the coronary arteries then it will leads to the heart attack heart 
attack so this is about the structure of the heart children so i think the you understood this concept so again i'm saying that children heart is a muscular organ it is our fist size it is located in the thoracic cavity in between the lungs okay children heart is having that four chambers the upper chambers are auricles down chambers are ventricles so right auricle left auricle right ventricle left ventricle and the right side tricuspid valve is guarded right auricle to right ventricle and bicuspid valve is guarding the left auricle to left ventricle children am i correct yes so here the right auricle is connected with superior vena cava and inferior vena cava right ventricle is connected with the pulmonary artery left auricle is connected with pulmonary veins and left ventricle is connected with aorta so this is the structure internal structure of the heart children i think that you understand this one so children in next class we will discuss about that how the blood is circulating through the heart okay so children i hope that you enjoyed this content so children bye bye take care let us meet with another kind